the story of a life that I never expected to have. When I met and married my husband, Brandon, he was a saxophonist and composer. He was working on a PhD in music composition. And he, you know, sometimes worked in restaurants as a waiter to pay the bills. I definitely never expected that two years and one day after we got married, that we would be opening a restaurant, that he would be the chef, and that I would be working beside him in the kitchen. This book is a little different from my first book, A Homemade Life in that my first book was really a coming of age story. It was about growing up in a family of avid home cooks and losing my dad when I was in my early 20s. And then it's a little bit too about meeting Brandon. This book, Delancey, is sort of a continuation of that story and a little bit of a twist on it. When A Homemade Life ends, uh, you know, I'm marrying this composer. And in Delancey, we see that composer become a chef. And so this book is in a lot of ways about, about growing up and about doing a very adult thing that is opening a business, a very scary adult thing. Um, and it's about sort of growing into the life that we stumble into. I hope that readers of Delancey will come away from the book with a real sense of, of what it means to open a restaurant and what it takes to run it. Um, you know, I feel like we see a lot about celebrity chefs in these big glitzy restaurants, but we don't often see very real accounts of like mom and pop kind of joints. So I hope that people will feel like they get a little bit of insight into the, the really interesting challenges um, and the, the interesting problems of running a restaurant. I also hope that people will get a good laugh out of it. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes in opening Delancey. The kind of mistakes that are really funny now, but they weren't at all funny then. So I hope that people can laugh along with us. <laughs>